Ugh. Hey, Stiletto. Hey there. How you doing? doing? Uh, you know, tired and hot. I don't know about you. Ready I'm for, uh, I'm ready for everything to be over. Hoping, to, hoping everything ends. <laughs> and some, sometime soon. I'm, uh, yesterday my neighbor, my neighbors have, like, kids. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the thing people have nowadays. Yeah. And they brought out the kiddie pool. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, no. And I'm like, do you know what? I'm gonna, cause I'm not gonna slash it because someone will know, but I'm gonna literally fucking bite that thing until it pops in the middle of the night. So I'm like coming up and like thinking about how I can destroy the pool. But it was mm -hmm. gone by the morning, so. Now, was it the noise of the kids that pissed you off? I just don't like anyone being around. And then it's, you know, me and people. You, okay. You didn't want them to be outside and disrupt what you have going on? Well, then then today I have, well, two days ago, they're always cutting down trees. Yeah. It's that time of year. Yeah. So I'm, um, I'm listening to your kid do whatever he's doing. Um, he's eating chips and being an ass, so whatever. I love you, but... Ugh. Oh. Um, but anyways, so they have... But, uh, they're cutting down a tree, my, uh, like they always do. They're always cutting down trees. Right. In my backyard. And I'm like, motherfucker. This was, uh, I mean, I, I like I like trees. You guys know that. I like having my view, on a, you know, not, not changed. These fuckers are, are... So I have just one guy on my right of my house. You know, this is, and this might not be seem like a big deal to most people, but that's my sanctuary. After, you know, I work out there, that's my office. It's fucked up. You know. I know people live in big cities, they have noise, but I'm not used to that. I live in the suburbs for reasons, but, like, what am I gonna do, move? I'm not gonna find a good place. No matter where I go, it's gonna be all. I'm not gonna like it. But then this morning, so I have them cutting down trees with, like, cherry pickers. The biggest, one of the biggest, because I have, like, one one of the biggest trees. Like, you know there's, like, 30, or I have, like, a 60-year-old tree in my backyard. Oh, God. Long story short, like, 40 years ago when the subdivision was built, there was, like, but there's basically trees. So they left some trees, and they took all their trees down. That was one of the right. trees that was there. Okay. It's a huge tree. And they cut down another one of the bigger ones. It's, it's, it's friend, I like to think. But what's going to happen when they're all done school, and then they're on round all time? Well then, that's I. I have a I have a thing for that. I, I I blast them out with fans. I put a I put three box fans around me and I sit outdoors. It's real nice. All I hear is, is is that, fan noise. And then what I do oh. is I, I pump I pump a uh, what is it, like Howard Stern and stuff, really inappropriate stuff, so the parents make them go inside. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to be too nice. And then, but then, anyways, this morning when we get to my point, I had I had fucking stereo chains. So I had a guy in a cherry picker two houses down with. A, Chopping down a tree, and then two houses down the other way, add someone with a stump grinder. So it, it, it's all I, it's all day, and I'm like, this chaos is, all day, chaos I'm, all day. I'm like, I have like four days vacation after this, so it's like, this is as soon as my vacation starts, this is when they do it. Of course, it's like clockwork. I'm very upset. It, I don't like this. I don't like this life, stiletto. I know. And then this morning, um, I, you know what? Wait a minute. I can one up you on that though. There's nothing like waking up on a Saturday to um, people jumping on the trampoline next door. And that thing. That's right. It sounded like. It sounded like somebody was humping on the bed. That's right. All day, and I was like looking around. I'm like, well, somebody's having sex, but they weren't. It was actually a trampoline. So what's this? Like it makes springy noises. It's huge. It's a huge ass trampoline. It's like, all right, all right, all right. and it sounded at first like. See, I, don't, I don't feel you. I don't feel you with that. I don't. It I don't, a, it, no okay, empathy. you don't get it because this is where my bedroom is right here, and they're right there, and I can hear it. So if I have a window open, what time is it though? It was Saturday. That's a. It was Saturday before noon. That's not okay with me. I'm thinking about going over to the whoever's houses and making up some stops. So I'd be like. You know what? I have, you know, I'm like, I'm trying to think of like, could I, have, could I be old enough to look like I have a son? I'm like, my son is mentally disabled. When we sit outside and a chainsaw scare <laughs> him because his dad died, I'm, I'm like thinking of this horrible story. So they literally stop. Oh. I want to be such a huge dick. Well, you are, so it's fine. 
but they're doing this like giant it's like this huge tree so they, it's, they've been there at it for like three fucking days with this fucking tree and it's not it's still all there I don't know what they're fucking doing and then I like will sit in my backyard and st- I'll, bother you. what I'll do is I'll like sit and stare at the guys in the cherry pickers and try to like listen because it's like it's I can hear what they're saying the one guy's like, oh, you got to plug it in. It says plug it in. Oh, no, that means it's charging. So I'm listening to that. I know how I know how to operate a cherry picker now. <laughs> I also know that the guy, whenever he does something wrong, he goes, I never had that happen before. Like he says we're in a really serious <laughs> note. Like trees, like I've never had a tree limb. Like, I guess he like dropped a tree limb on like someone's time. And they're dropping like huge limbs off this tree, like 30 feet down. And I think he like I think he like killed someone's dog. He's like, I never had that happen before. I didn't know it was gonna swing back. I'm really hoping they hurt themselves with the chainsaw. Now I hear some. I don't even know what it is. Maybe that's my grass guys. Grass guys, I'm fine with. Cause that's a different. You know, what I mean, like the weed whacker, I can handle that. Well, I had to sleep with. Cause I'm really trying to not put my air conditioning on, but it's gonna happen today. Last night, I had the windows open. It was nice and cool. And then I hear coyotes. No. Do you even know how terrifying that is? But you're indoors Coy- and stuff and you have fences. Um, but coyotes, I've never heard them that close. I know they're not going to come in because they're too scared. But I'm just saying that wildlife. Wildlife up in these Canadian parts. But I've never, like, and I live in the city. So that's the closest I've ever been to a coyote in this city. And it's... I'm not, I mean, they sound like they're having a party and stuff. It's scary. How far away are you from woods? Um, well, it's a newer subdivision, so there's like woods everywhere and they're like chopping them down and stuff. So there's animals all over. Hence the bunnies in my backyard. All right. But um, yeah, so there's lots of wildlife. Basically, I'm a, it's, they're clearing out all the forest, so I guess they're howling about it. Yeah. Or a howl. I wish elephants lived here. I love elephants. Well, that'd be a lion. I don't think I, have, I don't think I have a coyote in here. I'm not that sophisticated. It's a howling. Don't you have a howling dog? Yeah, I don't know where that is, though. So. Okay, well. Should I find it? Yep. It would have been appropriate. Here's a chicken. Here's a dog. Got a crow. Oh, that's a gun. And a horse. <laughs> Jaguar. Jaguar is cool. It's very Unless angry. he went to the zoo. This is like this is us going to the zoo together. It's an elephant. I have had that before. There's Bobby. No. Should be something. There's a car crash. That's it. There we go. Can't find it. What are you going to do? So do you want me to do local news or do you want me to do uh, just random news? Because I, I got some fun stuff. Fun I, stuff. Random. I'm not going to give you a choice, actually. All right. Well, fuck you. This is from the CBS that is literally about three houses down from me. Mm-hmm. It's not that close because, you know, I don't want people to find me. But I... Uh, <laughs> A female employee was helping a customer carry items to her uh, to uh, to her, helping a cu- uh, customer. Sorry, I'm reading this off of actual newspaper. Oh my god! <laughs> it's not an excuse why I couldn't read it. It's just I was having a hard time because they do the weird thing where they put like because da- they want to squeeze it all in, so they 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 cut up every mm-hmm. single word. Yeah. And I'm retarded, so I don't know how to read. It's fine. All right, sorry. A female employee was helping like, like em dash and like what the fuck? But skip it. Paper isn't that expensive. This seriously, this is the local chronicle. Half of it is ads. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, someone uh, an employee was helping cure, uh, helping a customer carry. Seriously, the the things I cut up in this sentence is amazing. Oh my gosh. Uh, when a man in a University of Michigan sweatshirt ran past her uh, with a hand basket full of 50, about 50 deodorant sticks. The employee, uh, I guess she wrote down the man's license plate and later verified that, the, uh, <laughs> that they were in fact stolen. The uh, suspect is 20 to 30 years old and is a f- uh, five foot tall with a thin build. That guy's short. 
five foot tall. He's like a midget. He's shorter than I am. Yeah. Hmm. He's listed as a suspect for retail fraud. So there's that. All right. I'm not going to try those again because, you know, I can't read fucking newsprint. The other ones are a little bit wider, but actually they're not. Like, wouldn't you, if you were to write a newspaper, wouldn't you write it like this way? I know it's like, why would you, why, like, why would you do, I don't understand. Like, the newspaper is oh, like three feet like long. In a column? It's like column view, yeah. But they're yeah. really thin columns. The columns are literally yeah. an inch wide. And why I'm going to measure this shit. I swear. I'd say it's two inches. I have a. That's what she said. I'm measuring with a Q-tip, but I know how long a Q-tip is. Don't, don't ask me why. It's an inch and a half. It's not that big. It's as big as my penis is, and it's still not that wide. It needs to be wider. Size matters. All right, so this is something you might be into. A connected, Bluetooth-connected uh, tampon may be hitting the market soon. There's a startup called My, uh, My.Flow is, uh, is hoping to save women from the monthly lady mishaps with a Bluetooth-connected condom. This, is, uh, this bad boy supposedly will let the user know when it's completely used. We cannot, I guess that's all it does. Oh, I see. So it will leak out. It's Ew. like it's like what your car. Well, so it won't leak out. It's like what your car does. Take a little beep, bleep, 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 bleep. We can't confirm, but we are pretty sure the uh, notification sounds sound like the uh, music from The Shining when the elevator doors open. That was a joke. Sorry, I read it like <laughs> an actual thing. Would you do that, Salita? Would you shove a Bluetooth connected tampon in each side of you? Hell to the fuck no. I don't need to know when it's full. Have you ever had? Because I've had someone bleed out in the studio. Um, have I had a bleed and out? And they got in on the chair. Okay, you know what? I had this bitch that was taking over my parental leave, and I came back, and she was trying to take my job. She didn't win. She obviously. was what? She was trying to take my job. She was like the fill-in when I was. Oh, of course, she was in a fucking robot. Jesus Christ! All right. I know oh, she's great. Back. Is it better? No, what is she? She did what? All right, start over. Okay, so I was. She was on trying to take over your position as what? As I was an uh, accounts receivable person. I was when an did you have a real job? That's why I want to know. It's a real fucking job. It's <laughs> fucking corporate accounts. I brought 70000 a year, uh, a week. Anyways, so she tried to take my job. And um, so she was moved over to this other chair in my huge office. And um, she was like kind of fidgety and stuff like that. And she's like, oh, are you going for lunch now? And I'm like, no, you go ahead. And um, she's like, uh, do you have a tampon or a pad or something? And so I gave her whatever I had. And then I looked down and she's like, okay, I'm leaving for lunch. And I looked down at the chair and there's this great big red period mark on the chair. And I was like gagging. I had tears. And she came back. She was wearing the same pants that she wore before lunch. And she sat right back in that chair. Like, it ain't no thing. I was like, you nasty bitch. That is some nasty ass shit right there. And I didn't know how to say it to her that you nasty because I had to work with her in my office. So <sighs> suffice to say, I, I got her out of there and um, I told them to remove the chair out of my room. <laughs> it's disgusting. But no, I have never personally had that because I know my shit. Go to the bathroom, man. Like, I don't understand how you can have an accent like that. Like, when when you're a kid, when a woman, when you're a kid and you have your first, you know, period and stuff like that, I can understand that being an accident. But if you're a grown-ass woman, what the fuck is going on? What is going on? Here's a, uh, here's a blind kid with Asperger's saying the C word on TV. Of course, nothing fucking plays in this goddamn place. Why is it? Why is it not playing? Why is it so low? Yeah, I think there's some user error happening. What's God happening? Da God damn it! Who who's running this? I can't. We can't work like this. You did. No, try it. Try this again. All right, here we go. Harvey, yeah. if someone says something something horrible to you, yeah. what 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 do you think? Say hello. You say hello? Yeah. If someone says something horrible to Harvey, what does Harvey say? Hello, you Uh, Harvey. Okay, we apologise. <laughs> we apologise for that. But th this is one of the reasons <laughs> we want to end this life. 
We don't like people being horrible. Harvey's a happy boy, isn't he? Hooray! <laughs> and how much does Mummy love you? So much. <laughs> I love that kid. <sighs> a woman stole sex toys from a Walmart. This is a woman in Florida. She was busted for shoplifting sex toys from a Walmart on Saturday, and she, quote, told the cops she was uh, too lazy to pay for them. God damn it, so MC. That. that was MC. So I love the Florida stories. Well, because it's MC. I don't know why that went so low. It was such a, such a downer. You know, we test everything before the show. We try to put a lot of effort into the show, and, you know, that's what happens. Oh. A 300-pound guy tries to run after shoplifting steaks but runs out of breath. A three, another 300-pound uh, guy in Florida, who may, may or may not be MC, tried to run away after he shoplifted two steaks last week, but uh, quickly ran away, uh, quickly ran out of breath so the cops could easily catch up with him. I'm dying. A woman in Tennessee stole a beer uh, between her thighs and uh, clears out the take-a-penny tray. Uh, she stole a 12-pack of Bud Light from a gas station last week by putting it up her skirt and holding it in between her thighs. Uh, do you ever seen this move? I've seen I've seen lots of lots of nice, uh, hefty black women do this. I'm not saying all black people steal, but I, I'm saying that right now. But I'm not. You know, I don't think that. You've seen it though. You've I'm not. Seen I'm not. She racist. happened to be black. She happened to be black. That's fine. Well, it doesn't say if she was black or not. I'm. Just, you know, for oh. the sake, let's, oh. let's just assume she is. Okay. But she also well. cleared out about 70 cents from the from the. Uh, Take a penny tray. Tennessee's just horrible whites, though, right? Just horrible, awful, racist white people live in Tennessee, right? No good I black know. people, right? I know, it's your country. You tell me. That is true. A woman followed her GPS straight into a bay. Uh, I know this is hard to believe, but uh, a 23 year old woman was driving <laughs> in Ontario, <laughs> fuck you, Thursday night. Uh, when it was dark and foggy, she couldn't see well, so she followed her GPS directions straight into a bay. Fortunately, she got out of the window before the car. She got her window down before the car lost power, and she managed to swim to shore. But her car was a total loss. So, it happens when you're Canadian. Well, didn't say we were all smart. This guy's in Australia. This is America's so great. That's all I'm saying. A guy got cold feet after his wedding and freaked out. When the bride of or groom gets cold feet, it usually happens before the wedding ceremony. But in before this wedding ceremony, I know I would try hard time speaking, but you know, I always make up for it for the, uh, you know, little comments I make about it. But in this case. A couple in Australia got married at a waterfront park. Uh, then after the ceremony, he freaked out and leapt from a moving limousine on the way out of the reception. It's a pretty good idea. And finally, some guy in UK tweeted a photo of Domino's the, uh, two Domino's the other day and said his pizza came with a, a raw meatball as one of his toppings, so they apologized. Even though it wasn't a meatball, it was actually a picture of, the, uh, of his testicles on top of the pizza. And they did they did apologize for it. Which was nice. But they, it was just a guy's balls. Balls on the pizza. Ew. <sighs> I thought it would be a better one. I'll do this one instead. i end up with this. A couple called the cops because someone stole their entire driveway. Uh, a New Hampshire a couple came home last week to find their entire driveway was missing. Uh, turns out it was a mistake by an asphalt company that had removed it. Uh, and so they're going to replace it for free and they're not facing any charges. There's that. <laughs> they took the driveway? How does that? They, they took it by mistake, you know. You get it. Is that a repo thing? No, no, no. They they, they were coming to do work on it. They wanted Oh, to... I see. Okay. You know, sometimes people will, you know, you hear stories of people taking down people's houses. That's the right. worst. Your house is so shitty, they take it down. <laughs> no, that's not. Stiletto, where can people yeah. find you on the internet? Uh, Stiletto Supermom on Twitter and everywhere else on Snapchat. Check that out, Supermom without the E. Just not enough characters. That's how I live my life. And also join me on Sexual Saturday on YouTube Live or You Now. I heard Betsy didn't show up for that last week's either. She was drunk. Such as she said she was. She was, I was so hungover or something. Yeah, she was drunk, but she was in the chat, which was fine. And um, we just had like super. I'm going to ask you a question, actually. Sure. Okay, would your love life be best represented as Fast and Furious or Legends of the Fall? I don't know what any of those movies are. 
Okay, what about Terminator or Avatar? Don't know what either of those movies are. All right, you suck. <laughs> I literally haven't seen any of those movies. I might have seen parts of Terminator. I went See to the- the, I went to the Terminator uh, Universal Studios theme park attraction where the okay. guy drives a, a motorcycle through the screen. And well, you know what Avatar is, right? I've seen the he Avatar the pocket thing. pussy where it's like a blue vagina. Okay, well, he goes and he finds this great big blue alien, falls in love, and turns into an alien, right? So it's like, you know, love of your life. And then Terminator is kind of like, you have sex, but you just can't get it right. The timing is just, you're in the future, dude, kind of thing. Well, I had a lot of guys saying that they were more like Terminator. Why is that? What is, uh, what's the reference? Um, the that. reference was because... Um, I know everyone they, else has seen this can, movie, but I haven't. They're doomed to be single because, you know, it's just that one time fucking and then they had to go. he had to go back into the future. I won't even get so. to fucking. I'm just doomed to be single. <laughs> People get on my nerves too much. Like, ugh. I hear you. And then, I, then, but then I'm like such a gentleman. I don't even want to tell people like what's wrong. So I do, I just rather just be alone. It's so much easier. You just, you just internalize it, right? Like my relationship would have to be literally. Du- I would have to like, I'd, I'd have to have a relationship with someone else at a show that, we, and all we did was talk about each other. Like right. to, to like to like everyone else except the person. Like really passive aggressively. I need that kind of relationship. Right. But see, like, in our sexual Saturdays, we were, like, discussing lots of things. And then, like, I got my nails done, my toes and my fingers. And it seems to be a huge thing with my people that follow me. I don't know. Um, but they um, they have sexual... And we are discussing sexual fetishes. And how there are some guys who have fetishes about nails and toes. Do you have any things that you like? Do I like anything? Yeah, any fetishes, anything weird? Um... Yeah, I talked about it in the show. I like, you know, partially, you know, like the quickie thing, you just kind of, you know. Okay, yeah. You know, almost kind of fully clothed. You know, not the penis to the hole or anything, but just like, you right. know, rip the pants right. down, pull the shirt up real quick kind of thing. Okay, like, so it's not an actual fetish. It's just a thing you do. You no, like. it's more like a rape fantasy kind of thing. Minus uh, the rape, though, because rape is like, ugh. It's so I already rape. know people don't want me. I don't want them to actually, you know, externalize it. Yeah, like, I know I, inside they don't want me, but I don't want them to show it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's the rejection part. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I hear you. What are you gonna do? Like I have, the, I have the perfect makeup of a serial killer, but like I, I am so I'm like way too lazy and I hate people too much to be yeah. near them. It's exhausting. Like I'm so I'm so fixed. I'm so cured of everything. Well, before the show, I was actually I was hoping I wasn't gonna be late. Um, I was on the phone with my phone company for like. <laughs> an hour almost and um they fixed up my account and stuff um because they're stupid don't know what but, you're talking about uh anyways i had a cell phone company i, I switched providers oh, okay from, okay so um they screwed up my my bill self fix now but it took an hour and the guy was awfully chatty which was completely fine but before before i got this phone um i was talking to a guy and he was gonna give me a business deal on a couple phones and he actually, oh, what a jerk. He, um, he started stalking me through my emails. He started stalking me. I don't have time for this. You have to talk about to me this next week. This sounds too, too good. What are you talking about? It was serious. It's, I understand it's, it's serious. Not- I don't have time for that right now. You don't bring this up at 1130. I am going to fucking bring it up. <laughs> it just happened. Should have ended the show five minutes ago. Fuck sakes. No, uh-huh. you're going to hear my fucking complaints because this is some bullshit. So I'm saying customer service people, be careful. Don't fucking be stalking people's emails. It's not your job. Jesus Christ. Just because I didn't go with you doesn't mean that, you know, we had a thing. It's not a relationship. It's business. Strictly, strictly dickly, strictly business. All right, Slotto. Okay, I'm done now. So, uh, final, final thoughts, Slotto. Final thoughts is going to be hot as balls, and I hope I'm going to be going to New York next month. What's your uh, game plan? Um, I got to visit Voltrack and Betsy. That's my game plan plan because it's her birthday. Sounds good. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Meerkat, Periscope, Ustream, Blab. That's it. Thank you, Stiletto. You're welcome.